Uh, it's it's hot. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. Hold on a minute. I swear one of my old, one of my previous streams recently got copyright striked, even though I'm playing lo-fi, which I am allowed to. I just thought about it. Because I'm so used to be copyright striked, I didn't really... Japanese lo-fi, what's that? Also, it's safe to be used in any of your videos. Nobody will strike your videos. In case you need to monetize your, the video using my songs, send me a link to my label at. It will check if. Okay. That's good. I can use this music, it says in the description. Oh, it just turned three minutes past. Three minutes late instead of two minutes late. Damn. I don't even know if I want to do 3 d today. I'm so hot. It's only 21 degrees, but man. It doesn't feel like 21. I mean, humidity is at 81, but we had it higher not too long ago. I guess the wind is very low. Well, actually, 50 miles per hour, is that low? It's Great Yama for Chav. What does that even mean? Whatever. Let's load up the scene. When it wants to load. 93% Okay Get down here you scoundrel I accidentally removed all the lights Because I had some illumination going on But Oh well How about we just do the table stay That shouldn't be too hard right uh, I can't replicate them at all right Yeah I can't really take that one. Oh wait my ZBrush isn't licensed at the moment for some reason. So I can't use ZBrush. I don't know what happened, but I can't use ZBrush right now. So I want to make sure I still can't use it. Yeah. Wonder why. Can the left click work? Thank you. I'm just searching quickly to see if I have any activation. Wait, when did? I can't see the find when he gave me the original.
I might just have to re-log in with the work address I used. No, that's not it. At least I don't think it is. Oh well, I can't use E-Rush at the moment, which is kind of sad. Uh... Alright, <clears throat> what should we do today then if I can't use Z-Brush? How about the cage? Surely just metallic and stuff, I don't need Z-Brush for that. Yeah, should be fine. I created a new folder, then it like didn't show me where it got put. There you go. <coughs> mm. Um, bird cage. Please didn't tell me I'd have tops and bottoms in. No. No! That's really annoying. Um, what's the easiest way to do this? Uh, probably go to one of the sides. Select all of that. Throw some lectures. I actually select the whole thing. Deselect. Well, I guess it didn't go to selection. We just deselect it. And delete those. Nice. Bottom is selected anymore. What about you, do hickeys? You scoundrels. Oh, they do actually have some. Damn it. That one. Well, they already have it cut, but they're clearly <laughs> not attached. Okay, okay, okay. That should be fine. It's like I just saw those all aren't connected. Sweet. Right now, go back to the side view. Hello, Wolf. How's it going, man? I don't have ZBrush at the moment, so I can't do too much right now. Fortunately, what a weird thing, right? Like, I don't have ZBrush, so I can't stream what i want to stream <laughs> i should get it back again soon uh 
Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> but I'd broken it. That is epic. Oh, that wasn't epic selected. Hold on a minute. Oh, no, yeah, that makes sense because these bits. That's fine. Just like that. I should be able to just deselect one edge of each of them. Uh, so we're just going to... I think one of the side edges makes more sense because if I select all the interior edges, you'll see the seam as you're going around. But if I select all the outside edges, you'll also see it. Whereas if I select the side edges to all of them, I think that's just, you'll see less. Maybe that's just my thought process though. I'm doing a stream currently. I will just be lucky and give you view. I'm doing well and I had painful headache ace from going on a long walk. Oh, really? It's very warm at the moment. That's why I ain't got camera on. I freaking, <laughs> I am not wearing uh, my shirt. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to visit your channel. I'll give you a view as well. There you go. Wait, I... Oh, are you streaming on Twitch? Radio truck? No, shush. Oh, I can't find it. I'm on Twitch. I can't find it. Post it in the Discord. In the Twitch in the streaming channel. Uh, I will quickly <clears throat> touch new color to it. Hopefully that doesn't deselect my edges. No, cool. Just to make it clear what I've... Oh, it doesn't want to do it. Okay. I'll do it in a second then. Okay, don't freeze on me, but move and say that. There you go. Okay, that one doesn't look like it worked. Oh, I mean... I oh, know there's definitely a couple that didn't work. I can see them. So there's supposed to be long bits like this, preferably. Uh, somehow we missed a couple. Chow oh, okay. Thank you. Twitchy witchy. That's not Twitch. That's Twitter. Oh, I got five notifications. What are those? Someone followed me. That's creepy. Ross Williams. There he is, the wolf man himself. Have you muted so that we don't obviously come up with my stream? Oh, is that me? You can hear. I can hear myself in your stream. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get her done. Boom, 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 boom. Science clearly still incorrect over here. What we got? Oh, yes, because they got a tippy tip. Uh, select that, deselect that. Which have, which have I selected? Okay. Oh my god, where is this? Oh. Okay. Uh, and then deselect an edge. I said deselect an edge. There you go. Technically, I'm selecting it, that's why. Boom! That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Wow. Are you, are you okay, man? I might have to save it just in case it crashes on me. All I did was unitize. <laughs> Freaking chill your beans. My dude. Alright, let's give a quickie wiki save.
Uh, birdcage, I got it right. Bird. Burb. I sometimes call things funny stuff, like instead of bird, I'll say burb and stuff. I'll actually name it on the folders, and then when I come back to it like a week later, I'm like, where is it? <laughs> I don't see anything called bird. It happens so often, you have no idea. Wow, that was beveled in a really odd way. That's fine. There you go. Connect to one side, probably the top. And then disconnect, probably the bottom side here. So here. So. So I'm essentially unwrapping this like a cylinder rather than like a cube, right? Because it's more cylindrical. Shall I? If I were to smooth it, I should have done that. Oh, what? Oh, actually. Um, because I've actually got edges ellipse on it, it won't do it. But it would usually smooth over more, which will turn into like a... Uh, Cylinder, so it makes more sense to um, unwrap it like it's a cylinder. Okay. For some reason, Unitize is deciding it likes taking a long time. I'll probably only stream till 4 today because I am just a sweaty boy. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I don't believe it's only 21 degrees. There is no way. It feels so much hotter. I've got my fan on max just to try to circulate some air. All right, now for these beautiful. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, I've not done them yet. That's fine. Is this still a you like dude? These aren't even that complex as shapes. What is going on? Maya's work taking so long to stay Steve. Well Maya's deciding it doesn't want to do anything. Oh, has he done it? Jesus man. Oh Jesus. Alright. There. Put her there. Select you and then invert selection. I want to color all of these in to make it clear what I've done. Always good to visualize the progress you're making. Um, I, I personally always find that helpful, and I think it's something you should always get into a routine of doing. Because if you don't, you'll end up maybe redoing bits you didn't realize you'd already done. You'll get lost where things are. I guess it's similar to like naming your layers. Because you're visualizing what you're getting done with naming layers. And it's the same thing about just coloring in what your UV map. I'm just sort of telling myself, this is done, or this is this part of the asset that now needs to be textured, where these parts still need to be UV'd.
Uh, they've got tops and bottoms. Nope, nope. Perfection. Are you serious? I didn't put a tip on that yet. It clearly doesn't connect. <sighs> there you go. Maybe squeeze it down and scale a little bit. Wow, maybe a little bit more. That's really having trouble looking like it's connected. Looking like a snack. Wait, is that a different? That's a different beam, isn't it? Ah. Well, then, realistically, I should have probably did this. So it's already got one here, right there. Did this. Made that connect. Make sure you can edge what you do. And then simply deleting. There. Boom. What's this once again? Alright, oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Oops. Boom. about the bottoms oh oh no 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 maybe i should do a high boy for this boom right not too much left to do Is it okay? I don't know how well this is even going to fit on the uh UV space wall. Obviously, you have to have a, a look see. Coolio, now you're oh, is that all one mesh? Interesting. Oh, nice. I think Rose had done it. Being zoomed out always makes it run faster. So I keep it quite zoomed out on the UV sheet. Uh, yeah, it's probably best. Cut that. Get up to here. Probably just cut that. Or maybe have a bit more leeway and cut there. Cut there. And then probably cut there to there. There. There you go. Voila. Perfection. My French is very good. Yeah. It doesn't even sound like a French accent. Mm. Oh, look at that long, long, long line. If I had enough viewers, I'll dedicate, like, I'll do more streams in the week, but dedicate, like, one stream to just watching funny YouTube videos and another stream to just maybe playing a game. I think that'd be nice and silly and carefree. Like I am. I'm a very carefree man. It's fine, I guess. The, the model, not me being carefree. Uh, 
Oh, excuse me. All right, we're very close. I think it's literally just the center bit now, right? <coughs> hmm. Man, I've been getting um, I get chest pain again recently, but I was getting a lot of like, I guess heartburn or acid reflex, reflux, reflex. Horrible. It makes you cough. <laughs> Lovely. It's exactly what I want. End gods. My favorite. Clean up. There you go. Eh, that's not much better. Do this instead. Boosh. Boosh. Voila. Oh, did, did I hit it or did I click that ball? I hit it. Okay. I hit that. Got that. You got that. Something that I need in my life. Give it to me. You got that. Something ain't right. Oh, no, that's, that's fine. Now, boom. Make all the thing purple to make sure. Well, I guess I'll make it all purple. It's just going to be purple in it. Can make it grey again because we know it's all UV maps. Very good. Very good. Select everything. Save what I got so it doesn't crash. Control L in the UV sheet. Control L. There you go. Which will lay everything out for me. Perfectly balanced. Like all things should be. What is this? Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, it, it took up more of the UV space than I thought it would. It's a bit bundled together. Um, layout. Try that. Spooky, scary skeleton, chancers down your spine. That's a bit better. Boom, boom, save, control, explore. Desktop, burb cage. That's not bird cage. That's bent bridge. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, bird cage will save over the file because uh, there's no point keeping the old one that's not UV mapped. Substance fits. Oh. There we go. Here it is, lads. I never update my software. I probably should. A new. How many days have we got left? 156. Oh, we're running out, guys. Got to renew it soon. God, that's going to be sad. Just because, you know, like 200 pounds going to leave, just fly out my bank account <laughs> in 150 days. Is it 200? It's not like that. They've probably changed it, honestly. I have burp cage. If you saw the big Bane Fury file, it's folder, it's because I was going to actually model the living room. Maybe that'll be my next. Get back to something uh, realistic. I mean, this is going to take me long enough as this. 1k, probably don't need any higher than that. Maybe we will. Who knows, eh? Uh, I'm going to come into here, turn this up and rebake. Maybe even turn up the secondary ray a little bit. Cool. We want some metal. I think there's going to be wood. Like this here and a little bit. And then everything else. Just metal. So if we go... I need to make... Um, my own wood, really. That's like fine, but obviously not quite the style we're doing at the moment. I put it on triplanar so that way it's.
Eh. It needs to be a tiny bit scaled. Yeah, that works, I think. Uh, we could always try planar, which will be terrible because it gets to, as soon as it gets to one of the sides, it'll get really stretched to get here. Uh, we could always try spherical, which honestly I like that. But the rest of it, not very much. I like that too. What if we take away that, that? Keep the tops and bottoms. Create a duplicate. Put that on. Oops. That on there. There. Turn it back to triplanar. There you go. And we've got this like. Oh. We've got to make sure we take off these. There you go. So we get the circular one in there. Sweet. Cool. We'll set up a edge engraving on it. Something like that. Are you good? Oh, it says here. Well, I'm freaking blind. What am I doing? Turn this down. Well, it's fine there's some sort of vivid detail on it just to separate out the monotony one occlusion on here occlusion okay you want to set that to a blurry blur pretty big blurry blur probably because we could probably just do that do this do that do this turn off everything but it's color and that'll probably be good it just causes that, but I kind of want to do a duplicate and have a second layer on top of that. That's sharp. But you know what? I think this needs to be blurred a bit more. I think it sharp looks okay, but oh, wrong one. Wait, which one is it? This one? This one? Or maybe it just needs to be underneath it. Nah. Um. Or even like that. Yeah, I think that looks better. Maybe turn down a tiny bit. Oh, wait. Down is how we do it, bigger. Okay. A bit better. Uh, second mask. I want to sharpen it up a little bit. Create a folder for this. Pop all that into this one folder. Put that into there. Did I miss the folder? I did. Well, it's uh, only select this. Oh, this, there you go. So we're not affecting anything else. Mm -hmm. Like that. Turn it down. Same with that one. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that down a little bit. Yeah, exactly what I'm going to say. Sharpen it a little bit. Make it much more obvious of a shade. Because stylized. We want very obvious Break up. Break up. Da -da 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 break up. Cool. I need to change the change the change the base color to match more. If I did that, I'm just gonna get rid of it all. Uh so I wonder if it's just worth popping a color here, setting it to maybe multiply. Uh and then simply changing that color to match my scene a bit more closely. Let's get our scene up. So very this color. I can't really keep it on there, so I'll just keep it on the other one on Earth now. <clears throat> Is multiply really the best one I should be using here? Yeah, overlay may be a bit better. Yeah, 
that's more like it or at least it's closer closer than what we began all right last bit we want to do is a generator position you want to get the top the tippy top more contrast tippy top less contrast probably about there so that's about an overlay about an overlay it said that to an overlay sorry speaking nonsense now uh we want that to be an offset color of that when i do my overlays if it's like for example we've got brown which is about here i'll put the overlay slightly up on our hue hue then go to maybe about here a slight bit of orange turn it down a tad we don't want it to be a bit too overwhelming pretty good very subtle stuff but honestly when you have it in the engine it really helps it sit into the scene how much longer have i got 22 minutes let's go right position false that down to probably there so that's a multiply that to a sorry turn up everything but color that's what i want to do again make that slightly red to offset the color Put more down here that would... oh too much i want a lot of that red still actually in there so, uh ooh. maybe about there yeah you see that it gives it like i don't know it gives it like a a sit-in feeling that, that doesn't make any sense but i hope someone gets what i mean all right so do we want i think we just want an iron cage actually um stylized metal metal oops metal that one okay okay why wow, is it very dark metal or is that just come from the occlusion right okay that's more like it oh a little less uh of this and we're pretty pretty golden it was a shame it can't get through the rim which is how i want it to do it but oh well if it doesn't pick it up it doesn't pick it up can't do nothing about it turn these down a bit make it much more subtle yeah yeah yes uh turn these on great uh, turn off curvature i only keep ambient occlusion on here Rob, oh, mm, yeah probably about that we want the interior to get a little dark i think cool same for this one turn off its curvature on this boom put a bit more blur on that a bit more sharpness cool that's looking like a cage whoa oh wait and this uh oh there you go wait uh -huh. excuse me oh oh yes i see uh well that was just a cylinder Probably I could just duplicate this again. Black mask. Select that. As I was going to say, that should be having no effect on that. Uh, and I probably could just set this to normal UV projection. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. Sweet. You want some bird poo in here? <laughs> Lovely. That's exactly what I want. Sweetness. Uh, I probably must separate you guys out. Do a duplicate of this folder. Sploosh. Oh, I hate. What is always really weird because because it's an overlay and a multiply, the folder has issues. Um. Fine, put each one in its own folder. Let's set it to a overlay in here. 
Is that the same? Yeah. Do the same here. Uh, sorry, multiply. Black mask. Because I want this to have a slight bit of that shading as well, like light at the top and dark at the bottom. And so we select this, we've got darkness in there. Black mask, put the light on there. Wow, it looks like a smiley face. Oh, look at that. Uh, anyways. <laughs> oh, wait. Both of those. Both of those. They should literally have the same mask. <laughs> Why doesn't it have the same mask? Oh, there you go. It was just taking a while to load. Okay. Duplicate both of these. Sweet. Disable it for... Well, black mask and both. Select the black mask on your boy. Oh, God. There you go. Bring it up. Huge contrast. Even more. Well, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not like that. We're very close though. Yeah, just like that. Turn it down a little bit. It's gonna be a bit more intense up here. Sweet. Ah, itchy eye. Cool. Same for this guy. Select him. He's not actually far off what I want anyway, but still wanna get it closer to what I want. There it is. There you go. That way it's got a little bit of character in itself. See that? Boom, 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 boom. So no one fights it. Boom. See, none. On. Honestly, in a way, it makes it look like it's got more depth. Um, I don't quite know how it does it, but yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Sweet. Okay. On the metal, we've got to do our positional mask on there now. And then I'll probably do a positional mask on the entire thing and just have it grayed. Mine went blank for a second. Cool. Set it to an overlay and that's probably already good. It's got to add up all the other stuff. Turn this up. Mm, maybe a little bit higher. Duplicato. Invert, set to multiply. Obviously, make it dark. Oh, very nice, very nice. Change its positioning. Bro. Probably about there. So we need uh, definitely some more occlusion there. So let's go on both. Occlusion. Oh, oh my smart materials. Uh, smart masks. Occlusion. Uh, you know what? Instead we'll add a generator. And then use that occlusion. Oh, that's not very good. Right, so instead, because it doesn't seem to pick it up the way we'd like, we'll just manually paint it on. Get my hands dirty, manually painting.
well, kind of just looks like now they've got some air around them. Nothing too fancy, but down here. Yeah, just a little bit to give it some indication. Nice. Think we have him a little bit too dark at the bottom. Which is probably coming from one of you. Is So I think I want to slightly lighten this up a bit. Cool. Slightly lighten you up a bit. Oh, no. Slightly darkening you. I want, to, I want to bring them together. Bring them together like a big happy family. There you go. Looking swank. Uh, maybe this should be brass. Honestly, it would it would help uh, change up the color. You don't do that. That that brass. Or do I just do that piece? I think just that piece. Or maybe that too. Maybe that too, but that still iron or whatever it's supposed to be in the middle still, maybe. Man, I did turn that up to four, right? I did. That's really having trouble picking up edges. But I thought that'd be very clearly around here for the edge. Um, instead then, we'll go generator, the curvature, see what that does. Oh, yeah, it's all picking up as the same sort of curvature. Very interesting. All right, that's fine. I don't mind uh, not having too much curvature to hide that detail. It's fine with me, I don't think it's an issue. And some occlusion. That's probably fine, to be honest. That's just enough occlusion that I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a cage, man. Now, like I said a second ago, we're going to do an overall blend on it. Ignore that sound. I was taking a quick picture. It's like, obviously, from that sound effect. Um, I'm trying to think. You know, I don't know if we, if I just want to be like, blotchy in the middle, a bit bigger, blotchy in the middle, nice blur. Let's multiply. Maybe blur a bit more. Maybe make it a little bit of a bigger shape. Turn off the reflection and stuff. There you go. Yeah, I think that looks better. Helps to sort of separate that middle part. It makes it kind of like a bit worn as well. Like there has been something in there. I want scratch marks. Could have scratch marks in here. Do I want scratch marks? I like the whole clean look, to be fair. I know it's being torn out at the back, but... So we want this to be very, very slight. Overlay. We'll turn it up to as far as we can get it here. And then we'll turn it down really far here. So it's obviously got these stuff on to turn them off. It's got just a tiny bit. So the reason I like doing this is just because it affects everything now. So we've got the... Oh, I have to do the brass as well for the light map. But you know what I mean? Like it's, it's instead of have Because I like adjusting its color a little bit, right, when I do it. But that doesn't work if it's on a yellow thing instead of a red thing. When I change the hue color, they won't match. So, for example, I'm now on the uh, on the brass with this positional mask. So for here, I'll get it so it selects the tip, you top like that. That's an overlay. Turn off all my other things. And then I'll find where yellow is, so where that color is, which is roughly here. Um, slightly turn it up so it goes to more of a green and then 
Let's have that like that. Hmm. Not sure about the green though. Maybe just a slight like that. Yeah. Put down a little bit. Got on this one. Do a generator. Generator. Position. Same process. Flip this around. Find where I want to cut it. More gradient. Uh, I think just like a little bit less sort of there. So it's a multiply. Find yellow. So yellow is a little bit above that. So it's going to be a bit of orange like here. Apply that on. Turn down the color as well here. Wow, that does not affect that much at all. Look at that. That's odd. Oh, is it because I had the metallic on right? I guess it'd be better. We want the red. A little less of that red. Yeah. Nice. All right. And then for our overall mask, like I was saying, we only need one more. And that's going to be on the bottom now. And these are just going to be black and white, no color tints at all. So, cover something like there. But I wish it was a bit more, like less contrasted. Or it's come across the thing a little bit more than it is. Oh well. Just got to deal with it. Multiply that. Make it a little bit darker. Again, don't want any of those. Cool. And as you can see, that's affecting both parts of it now. Put it down a tad, because I like how dark that's going. Yes. And there we go. I should have actually made my own wood for it. This might not fit in the scene. I might have to uh, adjust the color. But obviously, we'll have to see how it goes. Save that, because I didn't save it once, and that's terrible. I should always save this kind of stuff. Birdcage. What was the uh, text version of this? 2k, it wasn't like a 1k. Still looks fine. What does it look like a 256? Huh, actually doesn't look that bad. 512, what does she's 1k? This scene isn't meant for a game, so my limitations aren't as high. Birdcage looks great. Thank you. I don't know why I said that with a slight voice. Birdcage was great. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Trying to get speedy. In an hour, UV detection it and get it in engine. Woo! Oh, wait. 512. No, no, no. 1K. That is the speed I'm looking for. Hell freaking yeah. Stick it to the man. Uh, environment, props. I'm getting there on the prop list. I'm getting there. Uh, that's for nurse. It's half the size every time, isn't it? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is the grid? Over here? Jesus Christ. Okay. What if I center?
pop that in the center of this oops of this go very quiet day today do i smell barbecue one second Recommendation if you watch me on stream with audio on, I don't recommend watching with audio because I might swear and say, damn it. <laughs> Gotta avoid the swearing, man. Well, wow, it's really high poly. I didn't realize. Well, it's a lot of cylindrical stuff that happens. So on in my, at my workplace doesn't swear. And I was like, oh boy, because I don't swear. <laughs> No, I was like, this is interesting. I've never met anyone else who also just doesn't swear. I mean, the meanest thing, I've always said this, the meanest thing about not swearing is people try to get you to swear. I'm like, what's wrong with you? They'll like do things to purposely like wind you up and stuff um, because they want to get you to swear because it's like a challenge for them. And I'm like, mate, come on, bro. Are you serious? It's just me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the one in the wrong for not wanting to swear. It sounds so weird. Like, you, you can't say you're the one in the wrong for someone being mean to you because you don't want to swear. Bird cage. See, before Christ. This is my Christian stream. Hope you guys brought your Bibles. Right, see what that looks like. It's you can tell it's obviously a different sort of wood texture. I'm, again, I might make my own wood texture. It's not going to be other stuff on it yet, so don't worry. Um, I might make my own at some point. To that replicates more of my style, like go into either go on a plane and draw it all on in ZBrush when I got ZBrush again, and then render that out and then turn that into a tiling texture, or try to generate it in designer that's how big brain i could be in designer to replicate it so i like this i like this like oh well, it's not as great on here i actually might redo this at some point because this is sort of very meh. it's not awful uh here i did even i forgot i even did wood on stuff <laughs> for some reason when i made this it's just block colored uh, but like most things like the barrel you know it's got like that simple but still edge where uh, still edge detailing and occlusion you know i the floorboards that were that i found in substance were quite close to the style so i think they worked pretty well but like if we just look at some of the stuff i think it lends itself oh hello get out of here nice yeah this would be really fun to do Uh, the mug's a good example of the style as well. Where's the mug? One here, like that. Uh, there was loads downstairs. I don't know why this didn't look at one of those. You know, it, it's it's a nice little style. Um, it, it's it's weird because it's simple, but it's detailed at the same time. I, I know that sounds really <laughs> counter uh, counter argument, but. Roughness, metallic. Uh, uh, excuse me. All right, the birthday should look a lot better now because I've actually got metal on it. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that fits in pretty well. <coughs> I would like to make the um. Yeah, it's swear because you want to. Yeah, I mean, swearing's fine. Uh, people would sometimes do that. So I was like, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry, I swore. I'm like, man, I don't care if you swear. I, ch I just don't swear. I don't care if you do. I mean, I usually tell them I appreciate, you know, because you thought, you thought I didn't like it. I appreciate that you actually 
have me in mind, but it doesn't bother me. Not one bit. Uh, more orange, I guess. What it look like in here again? Yeah, it needs to be more orange. Yeah, probably like that. Wow, it's like just way more saturated. Bird cage. Well, I only need to reimport that one. Oh, it's, it's not matching at all. I mean, I could come into here. I'm doing this on the other monitor quick just because it'll be faster. Put in a parameter. Invert that. I think it needs to be brighter. I think the uh, overlay is making it look too dark. That's closer, closer. Now if we come into here, pop that on there, name it the correct name. F2, hello. Thank you. Bye, oh, yes, it's got the same name. Ah! Oh, I'm good now. Oh, I'm good now. <laughs> I've been streaming since 6am because I was woken up. Oh, damn. Well, actually, I don't know what time it is for you. Point five, mm, one. So that's one. So it's definitely gonna be somewhere, not there. Somewhere in between, maybe sort of there-ish. Maybe take off some of the green. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, why isn't that showing anything? No, not the green. And the blue. No. Some of the red. No. Maybe more red. That's closer. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's way closer. I think it needs to be a tiny bit desaturated. That I think is closer. I promise desaturates this a little bit. That works. Kind of looks like it's floating. It's got like no sh no occlusion down here. Looks weird. Big part of that is still lighting, so I can't change that right now. Lighting's not set up. I think I like that. Do you ever exaggerate occlusion? I think it lends itself to that cartoony design. You know what I mean? Wow, why am I running slightly? You see that? It's the FPS. Whoa. Why am I only at like 60? Oh, because I've got my other monitor open with the materials. Oh, I'm still only 75. Interesting. The biggest part in this room is getting these bits done. I played Dead Space yesterday with my head ache and i got super mad because i was doing something wrong but i thought it was right so i just ended the stream because my head hurt nice 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 hey man if you're in pain you know don't persist there's nothing wrong with having a bit of a relax and just gaining your energy even in even in like anime you know they take time off to gather their energy am i back up touching 20 frames that's just in here i bet it's because of this because, wow, how did I miss him? Because he's like, no? Well, that did help uh, a little. Maybe it's this. It's this. But I need the light in here for now just to simulate bouncing. That's starting to look really nice. Hmm. Literally, all I need to do now, because I need to get metal done for this too, but that's not too hard. That's just going to have an edge on it. Maybe some scratches might do a high poly. Ladders. 
these bits, and then these. And I'm I'm wondering how to do these. Do I do I do that as one mesh, and then Z sculpt them or get a tiling texture on them, and then just make them look like wood? And if that's the case, how do I make these parts? look like what I want. Do I just also do a tiling texture there? It's uh, all up in the air right now of how I want to do it. There's so many different ways, obviously, like always. There's never one simple way. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I'm going to do for today, unfortunately, because I am freaking boiling and I would like to go outside and cool down a little bit. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave it where we actually made progress, which was on the bird cage. There you go hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna take a picture i like how people have just showed up as i'm about to leave nice one one mesh and indent it with extrude and unwrap yeah yeah it, like, there's so many different ways anyways as you in the stream again hope you guys enjoyed if you want to catch me off stream i do have a discord you can find it below and i will catch you guys on wednesday when I, hopefully it'll be a bit cooler and i can spend a little bit more time streaming see you then Bye-bye.